Okay. Suck, squeeze, bang, blow. You guys, of course, know what I'm talking about, right? I'm talking about the four stages of combustion engine. <laughs> yes. We are talking about the external factors, aren't we? Right? Okay, I'll leave engineering aside. And today I will talk about something that I know better. Today, I will talk about sex and I will talk about technology. It's a brave new world of technology out there. And we at Love Matters are using technology to do the good talk around sex. I grew up in an era before internet became really popular and easily accessible. I'm not very old, but it was like sort of pretty much the time when internet had just entered the market. Um, from looking through the stash of uh, carefully hidden uh, naughty magazines to being able to access sexual content with just a click on your phone, on your computers and on your laptops, we sure have come a long way. Today, technology has us using our hands more than ever before, isn't it? <laughs> but there is one thing that hasn't changed, and that is the hush-hush attitude towards talking about sex, about sexual issues, about sexual concerns, and most importantly, pleasure. We are still struggling to talk about sex comfortably as something wonderful, as something natural, and as something that is everybody's right. After all, it is a fundamental right to have sexual pleasure. It actually is. Are we all aware of that? <laughs> okay. Another reality is that people around the world are accessing pornography, which most often depicts unsafe sexual behavior and it focuses on male pleasure at the expense of women. Young people all around the world are getting confusing and contradictory messages about love, sex and relationships through their parents, societies, families, friends, peers and of course also media. So, when we launched Love Matters in India, we looked at the unmet needs of young people in context of sexual health and rights. What we found was that the Sexual Reproductive Health and Rights Organization were focusing on what you wouldn't want. You wouldn't want unwanted pregnancies, unsafe abortions and sexually transmitted diseases. Of course, these are really, really important issues to talk about. But none of the comprehensive sexual education conversations were focusing about love, satisfying and happy relationships. And that is a problem. Well, we also looked at the world of technology. We looked at the world of internet and the popularity of pornography. Pornography is hugely popular. We looked at the reasons why. Very simple. Because people want to know about sex, they want to know about sexual satisfaction and they want to know about pleasure. But the only source that young people can turn to to access this information is pornography. Or maybe go and have conversations with your peers and friends. So when we spoke to young people with, uh, before the launch of Love Matters about how they want to access this information, they said internet and mobile phones. And there we were. So when we launched Love Matters in India in year 2011, we launched it as a responsive website and uh, with the, with the uh, with the mindset that we would be able to give people open, honest, accurate, reliable information and non-judgmental inf information on sexual reproductive health and rights. Now, effective communication requires that we are able to deliver information to young people <coughs> sorry, through formats and through mediums that are most relevant to them. For young people around the world, this means using internet, mobile phones and social media. What makes our approach really unique is that we give pleasure positive information in context of sexual health and rights. This means packaging sexual reproductive health and information within the context of love, sex and relationships. This means embracing pleasure. Talking about technology, nearly 76% of people in India have access to mobile phones. And it is most likely that young people would have access to internet on their mobile phones. This has been an unprecedented opportunity for us to be able to give them SRH information using mobile, using mobile phones. We have been able to target those people who have been neglected by the traditional uh, family planning centers and sex education programs. 
We all know that the internet penetration and mobile penetration in India is increasing every single day. We currently get 70% of the traffic on our websites via mobile phones. And it is a responsive website, which means it is easily accessible on any kind of high-end or low-end mobile phone. Now, mobile phones offer something that traditional family planning clinics cannot. And that is access to sensitive, accurate, private information at any given point of time. And this is something that is not possible with the traditional family planning services. Now, I think online um, you know, sex education programs around the world have been able to reach out to millions of people around the world with accurate and trustworthy information. It is not surprising that authorities and organizations around the world are using technology platforms to give information to young people, to advise young people. We at Love Matters use a series of platforms which includes website, social media, videos and our discussion board to engage with our audience. We do an analysis of our performance every single week to make sure that our content and that our platform is optimized for use uh, by our target audience. We want to be sure that they are accessing the content and information that they are looking for. Now, we operate in a world, in the technology world, where there is, of course, a, of course, a lot of uh, problem for us as well. Well, holds true for us who are working as an SRH organization on a project uh, using technology to reach out to young people. There are other SRH organizations as well who get banned and downgraded with content sometimes by Facebook and Google, the biggest technology players. Now, how do we explain them and teach them the difference between accurate, reliable sexual health information and pornography? Any ideas here? Well, that is a struggle for us. Uh, what we are also trying to do is constantly innovate in this technology space to make sure that we're using all digital approaches to reach out to a wider audience worldwide. For example, just last year, we launched a WhatsApp pilot in India where we gave out love, sex and relationship advice to young people using WhatsApp messaging services. When we did a survey at the end of the pilot, 100% people asked us to roll out the service as a regular Love Matters feature. We're thinking of doing that. We haven't done that yet, but we're thinking of doing that, of course. I would also like to talk about Love Matters Kenya website, where we give the option of locate a clinic feature that guides young people to their nearest clinic. What we're trying to do to increase our reach in rural areas is to form partnership with, with local groups, with community radio stations, to give out audio content. And we are also talking to different technology platforms to be able to take this information to really rural areas for young people. But there is something more interesting that we are doing. We are currently talking to Pornhub, which is the 66th most popular website in the world. What conversation are we having with them? We are talking to them about their top search key terms because we want to compare their key search terms with key search terms on our, on our website, on our platforms. Because we want to be sure that we use the right kind of keywords to make sure that people come and access right and accurate and reliable information on our website. Now you see, we in the world of internet, we are competing with pornography. And it is difficult. It is difficult. Just talking about the reach and the success that we have had so far. We have reached out to more than 14 million people so far. There are over 2 million people who connect with us. I'm just talking about Love Matters India. Uh, every single day on our website. There are more than 100 questions that are answered on our website every single day. You know, when people leave their really personal life questions on our website, which also talks about their sexual desires, their issues, their problems, it means a, it means a big deal because it is not easy. It is not easy to be sharing your most intimate secrets on a website. But that has been made possible because we are a confidential space and they trust us as a safe space. And that has resulted in the success of Love Matters. Now, uh, well, what we do is that we give information online to make it possible for people offline to have happier and healthier relationships. What we have created is a taboo-free zone where learning is possible without the fear of judgment. And for this, and for this, we are being recognized worldwide. 
in year 2013, we received the award from the World Association of Sexual Health for being the most innovative sexual health platform in the world. Just this year, we have been selected as the top five digital activism projects in the world under Freedom of Expression Awards. And in the last five years, we have expanded globally. We have a presence in Kenya, China, Egypt, and Latin America. Very difficult, difficult areas to work in. But this is an approach that can be replicated and scaled up in any part of the world using the technology that best suits the region. So we are in the business of engagement. We want to make sure that people can talk about love, sex, and relationships without any fear. We want to do away, do away with the taboos. We want to open up a safe space for young people to engage in rights-based information. We are using technology to empower people. Yesterday, my colleague and a very dear friend of mine, she quoted uh, Marshall McLuhan saying, medium is the message. And I said, hell yes. That's exactly what we are and that's exactly what we do. It holds true for love matters. Because we are a medium that is influencing how the message is being delivered and perceived. Thank you.